The story behind the song, Temporal Thing. So how do we come up with the music for this one? This is another one of our shorter, more accessible mainstream pop rock songs with an up-tempo feel. So we can hopefully reach a larger, wider audience who don't have the tolerance or patience to start <laughs> off listening to one of our 10-minute songs. Tolerance. <laughs> Or bandwidth, or whatever attention span. Or life span. expectancy. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, this is another t song where we just I was I was determined to have some faster songs, and I think it's about 110 beats a minute. Came up with some chord changes. Billy and Natalie were here. I think I used some drum loops that I thought Darren might like, and then um, Natalie had some poetry lyrics that I think she started writing at uh, one of her jobs. <laughs> so, Temporal Thing is, again, surprise to everyone, another relationship song, but it's, um, I was working for a couple whose relationship was on its way out, and um, so there was this just kind of weird in flux sort of vibe in the house. I was just doing some little chores for them while I was in my undergrad program, and they lived by a little river. And because it was a, a really bright, sn snowy day, the river looked really green. So I started just writing, the Jade River rushes like it knows the state of things, like it knows the state of things in the house. It's rushing to kind of get away and get, a, get move on. And everybody was kind of trying to move on in their life. And, um, and I was feeling so fulfilled in my own, but I identified with what this couple was going through because I had <laughs> been there so many times <laughs> and understood the pain of the pain of breakups usually because one or both have grown apart. And I mean a lot of relationships in my life have been temporal things, just t periods of time. And uh, so that's what that's what this song is about. This may even be the song when Darren heard it for the first time, and he said, I don't even know what record we're trying to make here. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I might have One said. One of my songs. I might have Maybe said Maybe I those didn't get any of them. Again, <laughs> as a human type person. <laughs> type. type. Being the operative. Type. Mm. Uh, no, I, I mean, you're right. I, <laughs> at first, uh, because of my DNA, of being a progressive rock person, this this was again a very much big challenge for me. The other song that we had talked about previously, um, after you, after hearing it, the vocal content, everything else, you know, it's it's for me, it just helped me propel the drum part to where I wanted it to be. And it's a great drum part. Well, thank is, you. Yeah. I do appreciate. I know it was really hard, but it sounds. You no, know, awesome. so that's th those are challenges every musician has to come to. We all have our wheelhouse of things that we like to play, things how how we approach songs. And for this record, there's there's been some challenges because it is different. Because mm. it's not just me and Andy writing the music and then we farm out the uh, vocal lines in this. This was a collaborative effort between the three right. of us. No, I mean it was really uh, different for me to kind of approach these songs like this because we had really don't do a lot of this kind of more simplified uh, songwriting. Right. But it turned out great. Love it. And Shelby did a great job oh, wow. with her groove on that bass line. And this was p another challenge that we had is we would do the parts and we would send them out and then the response that we would get back from other people playing on the songs would always help inform what we wanted to do and we would go back and change things. So uh, yeah, what's what I find exciting about this, even though we never we didn't get our wish to have everybody in the in the in the room writing the songs and doing everything. But what's, what I find very kind of cool is that we do send the songs to like Shelby, and I had a different, whole different idea of where the bass part should be, and she did not do anything close to that. But that is what's so great about that, because it does help me kind of grow a little bit and go, wow, I would have never thought of doing that. And she really did a great job on this one. Very pleased.